hey guys what's up so this is continuation of the framework and uh, last class we have seen that uh, excel coding now uh, i will talk about how we can integrate with the test scripts and how the same excel code will work for your data driven testing right like how you can uh, read the data and based on the number of records your script will get executed i will show you in this uh, in this session so before we start uh, uh, this is brief uh, introduction about me i come from mechanical background and i am from bihar I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel, so you guys can like me Facebook page and subscribe me YouTube channel and the GitHub locations where you'll get all the source code. Even on my Facebook page, you can ask me the doubts, but your doubts should be technical doubt. It should not be usually I get a doubt saying that how to put a fake experience of five years. So that I will not able to help you out. But yes, if you ask me the technical doubt, I'll be able to help you out. Now let me start with the coding part, guys. So uh, what uh, we have done last class, we have seen that you know the data is getting printed and here we are returning the data so data set now how to use this so what i will do uh, i'll go inside this uh, one package in the test package and i will create one test script so i'll create one class test data driven script okay here uh, let me quickly write public void uh, let's say data source right so you let's say you have this data provider and here i will write data provider and i will give the name is equal to uh, let's say test data right on the top of it if you look at this excel uh, class which we wrote I want to make this as a generic because as we discussed earlier all method which is common across will be writing in the test base so what I will do I will go in the test base in the down I will design one method saying that public void get data okay and here uh, in this class I will make the object of this excel reader so i will make this variable here i will make public excel reader so i'll make this reference here and then uh, so i uh, okay so let me do one thing let me uh, what we will do here is okay so if you come back here excel reader is a class so first let me do one thing first uh, let me make the object of the class so i make the object of the class and i will write here excel reader is equal to this and do a right click and this import that so do a right click and import that class here in this class and then make a reference so this reference delete from here take this a e x c e l yeah, excel reader take this come back here and make the reference here okay so i'm just making a global reference now uh, here we can call that method dot get data so this requires excel location so what we will do internally we will construct here so that it is very easy for us so we can write here system dot uh, get property user dot dir so this this will give you locations till your project irrespective of wherever you kept your project so i can uh, right inside the print statement so that we can see that plus uh, where usually we are keeping the excel sheet here right so do a right click go to the properties and what we can do src till here we, we want okay so till here we want and then we will do plus in this method we will write a 
string Excel name. And then we'll write a string seed name. So Excel name will append it here, right? Because in this data folder we can keep n number of uh, basically the Excel uh, Excel, right? But everything will come inside this data folder only. So we can keep test data, something login data, registration data. So I'm just appending here so that my location will be ready and even we can print that. So we'll come to know whether the location is fine or not and then this method is returning 2d object so we will return that again place mouse over here change type to here uh, the type we need to change because this method return type is a, a string of 2d object so this guy will give you the data of 2d object so we have now get data so what i will do get data we have designed where we have designed in the test space so i'll go back uh, this is script and I will extend test base. So we extend the test base. So here we can call get data and seat name. Uh, we will supply the seat name. So press F2 get the get the sheet name complete sheet name not sheet name actually Excel name and then uh, what we want is we want this login test data. Right, so we want to supply here, right, and this should also return here, right. So, when this returns, we have to change this to the a string, or we can change to the object that is better options because object will take everything. Now, we can make one method public void. Let's say for your understanding, I'll write test log. Here we can use at test, and we have to give the data provider connections is equal to we can write test data. Okay, now if Excel has a three column, you you also need to make sure that you are writing three columns, otherwise. Your script will not work. This is mandatory. So here we have to write string username string password string run mode. Three things, right? And then I can just print that. So in your uh, case, it will be a Selenium script. I'll give you the dummy code of Selenium script also so that you know those who want to uh, design a data driven framework uh, he and she can do that run mode so first let me test that whether this script is working or not so do right click run as test ng So I am getting that wc.com element transversals dom element transversals uh, some exception is coming right. So let me go to my pom.xml and what is the version of 6.10 I have but I still that trans okay. So whenever this exceptions comes you know we need to add one uh, dependency actually in 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 your project so we have to add one dependency and then after that dependency uh, this problem will not come okay so okay i will show you in the uh, next video how we can add the dependency but till here we are good now what you can do is if somebody has that if somebody has to design a selenium script you can just write by dot xpath and let's say dot send keys you can supply here username right similarly you can also write here and you can supply here password so i'm just writing a dummy code you guys can convert this into a script so that's how 
your this particular script will run seven times right based on the number of records it will get executed seven times and uh, when it will get executed seven times in fact you can see in the test ng report how this code will get executed seven times but that's how we generate a data provider so this method you guys need to practice as well as in the test base you need to understand why i wrote like this i wrote like this because i don't have to supply the complete path of the action i just need to supply the excel name because internally i am appending here right so i'll be able to generate that and uh, this will help us to do a data driven testing so in next video i will show you with the execution like how we can do the execution uh, i'll show you one short video on that right so that you guys can integrate in your framework so thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video hit like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again guys